what's going on everybody and welcome to your 35th HTML and CSS tutorial in which we'll be discussing about some more pseudo selectors in CSS and let's have a look at some more CSS pseudo selectors right away so first of all let's create a form to have some nice little input fields to work with and I'll just go with input type email input type number and input type summit for now now let's just give it a br to each one of those let's check this out on the browser looks good so now in the CSS file what we can do is we can make use of some special CSS3 selectors which have been working with coordinates with the HTML5 validation API so let's have a look so first of all to do that let's grab this this input field inside our style.css with the attribute selector and I hope I have taught you this in the past and now we have this input type email selected right here and now the pseudo selector we would use is invalid so uh, not invalid let's just start with valid I'll show you what invalid is so now let's paste this again for the number one so now let's give it a background of green and color of white so now let's reload this I'll explain you what we are doing here so valid and let's just type something uh, let's just type one two three four five a okay so what you're seeing here is for some text we are getting the green one but for some text we are getting the white one and why is that so the green one signifies that my input is valid so nothing nothing in the input field is validating as a valid email address maybe some fault in the HTML5 API but when I type a invalid email address right here like this then the color changes to white and once I write a at the rate sign and df.com then it changes to green and the reason is that it's accepting this these invalid characters as well because HTML5 API is just uh, testing for a string at the rate string dot string so this is the simple test for HTML5 and that's the reason why you should not rely on HTML5 validation because it's worse so for now we have to you know use this validation for the teaching purpose but don't ever use HTML5 validation at all. You uh, go ahead with PHP, the backend one, or the JavaScript one. So now, let's see if I enter an invalid email address which is not in the format of string at the rate string dot string, then what happens? So the background ch is changed to white, but once I include the at the rate sign and write some text, then the background is again changed to green. Same in the case with numbers when numbers are typed then the background is green but once the alphabet is typed or some other special character then the background changes to white and why is that so this valid pseudo selectors only works when the HTML5 API the validation API would say to the CSS that yeah this input field is now valid so this valid would apply all these properties only when your input type whichever it is becomes actually valid from HTML5 and similarly we have invalid and invalid would just do the opposite of this let's put a background of red let's reload this and I'll just type some random email address and as you can see the background is red unless I type a valid email address and similarly the background is red unless I remove this text and type some numbers alright so next thing we have got is the empty pseudo selector 
and let's take a look at it what it is so let's say I have a div right here and some b tags this is line 1 another b another b this is line 2 so now in the style.css what I'll do is I'll just give line height of every p to 30 pixels so let's reload this and now you see that okay so let's just copy this piece of code again okay so now you see that we have got three p three p's right here and let's go ahead and give it a minimum height of let's say 10 pixels so that we have got a minimum height let's reload this and now the problem is by mistake what your CMS did, did is, is that it inserted the blank piece and this is a very uh, annoying problem in WordPress if you ever worked with that because WordPress by default inserts a lot of p tags automatically so now what you want to do is you want to get rid of all those p tags which are empty and to do that we have got a CSS selector pseudo selector which is p empty and this empty would work with everything so <coughs> so I'll just give it a, a not a background actually I'll just do display and do it so now when I reload this then what happens is every p which is empty or which does not contain any content in it gets this the CSS properties applied but would also have display none which technically removes it from the DOM tree so this is about empty one and now let's just take a look at not CSS selector and not would basically select everything except that particular class ID or element you give so let's say I have got some diffs right here diff class my div content one now let's just copy this line two three four and let's just give it my div two so now let's go to our style.css file let's say select every div every element div not my div now this means select every div every element div which has not the class as my div so it would uh, select this right here this thing so I'll just give it a background of red and when I reload this then we get content 1.1 in the background as red and if I do like my div 2 and reload this then all these four get the background as red because all these four are divs and do not have the class as my div 2 but what if I add a class right here as my div 2 as well in the content 1 when I reload this now then this line gets no background because it has content uh, this line has uh, the class as my div 2 so this code would ignore this line so that's pretty much about CSS selectors pseudo selectors and that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you then next time don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching the video